So we could see that you were pushing really, really hard at the end there to try and keep up with those two Suzukis. And you had a front row seat to Tony's mistake. Tell us about what happened. Uh, yeah, definitely. I was uh, I was giving it everything I had and and more um, and yeah, it even for, it forced me to to get into five deeper on the brakes than I've ever ever done before with the the front uh, wiggling around there and uh, yeah, Josh and Tony were just setting an incredible pace and I was doing everything I could to uh, to hang on, like I said. And uh, I'm not sure. I, I just tried to go up the inside of Tony the last uh, the last corner. And I came, I came out of the corner, and I just got as tight as I could, and uh, came across the line second, and looked back, and uh, he wasn't there. And I saw on the the TV screen that he's picking his bike up at, uh, out of the gravel. Glad he's okay. Uh, that's a bummer, but uh, I'm, you know, I'm really happy to uh, get two podiums here for for Yamaha. Uh, yeah, a decent start to the season, and I really love this place. Big, big thanks to all the fans for coming out. And uh, yeah, hats off to my guys, Bell, Alpine Stars, the man above for keeping me safe. And uh, yeah, roll on to the next round. Congrats, Cam. Yeah, and with that, of course, Cam Bobier now closes up this championship. It looked like it might be a Tony Elias checkout and Road America proving two seasons in a row to tighten things up because it was two points advantage for Cam last year. Now he's just nine points behind Tony Elias. And when he says he was getting deep into turn five, he oh, was getting on. deep into turn five. It was pretty incredible to watch.